Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next. I'm Mike, your host, and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. Before I get started, guys, please subscribe if you are new here with the notification bell on. We're on the road to 158,000 subscribers and I would love you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe and join the fam. But what's going on, you guys? What's up? Hello. Hello there, you. Hey, bae. Hey, our baby. This is my, uh... This is the missus right here, and that's our baby. <laughs> Ew. I don't feel safe. But anyway, guys, what's going on? Excuse the way I look right now. I'm aware of the bags and the pale skin. I am extremely tired today. I was, like, super excited because I got the other painting that I've been telling you guys I've been excited for. It came today in the mail. I wanted to make a video about it, but I'm just not feeling it. Like, I'm not really, like overly excited like I was with this one yesterday um, so what I'm gonna do is with the one um, the other painting I'm gonna do that tomorrow's video so I'll show you guys what that is tomorrow either tomorrow or the next day um, because there is two that I really want to show you however for today I just I decided to change my mind and I thought I'd do something that I've wanted to do for a while um, which is as you guys know have probably noticed the Ouija board is missing now it didn't just up and walk around by itself I actually made it get up and move. Uh, uh, excuse me. So anyway, I thought it would be a pretty good idea to like show you guys both of my Ouija boards and show you the differences between like an authentic 1974, I believe, um, 1972, 1972 edition Ouija board. Now this one is literally falling apart. Like the, the sides of the box, um, it's it's been taped over like the tape is so old that even the tape has turned yellow um, from the previous owner not sure who it is or where it came from um, but like every corner has been taped and the tape is becoming crusty and yellow and even the tape has split so the box is still like split it still like comes apart uh, but anyway I thought it would be a cool idea to like show you guys the differences between the two Ouija boards because I actually have the other one right here this one is absolutely 100% brand new, <clears throat> and uh, it's never been used. I bought this one brand new. Now this looks very similar to this. There is differences. This one is a reprint. So this one's not an authentic 1972. This one is, however, authentic. So I'm gonna show you guys the differences between the two Ouija boards. I mean, it's still a real Ouija board. It's not fake. It's just not an authentic 1972 edition. It's a reprint. So it's like, it's not genuinely from that time. It's from, it's more recent. So it's not as valuable. That's basically the point, um, what I'm trying to make. I did tear it open. I actually opened it from the saran wrap or whatever it was in, like that plastic uh, film. I, I was the one who opened it, so it was absolutely brand new. And I felt guilty because I know I'm never gonna use it. I was just, I wanted to see it. Um, so I tore it open, I looked at it, and then I was like, huh, okay. But now I wanna put it back in the plastic, but I can't, so I wrapped it in saran wrap. That is, this right here is saran wrap. I know it looks like it's kinda messed up or shiny, like a freaking, you see this one's like kinda dull and matted and this one's like got like a shiny effect it's not like fucking pokemon cards guys like i'm not like collecting the shiny editions because they're like super rare like but what i am gonna do is i am ready to uh open this one um and show you guys where is the freaking how I, I hate does anybody hate, else hate saran wrap like you know when you tear it off the you know the way you got like the jagged edges like the little saw um, on the roll so that you can tear it off but as soon as you tear it off it's like it's like statical so it all like sucks itself together and then you end up with a big freaking ball that's stuck together and you can't unravel it again um, I hate saran wrap it literally makes me want to kill somebody <laughs> okay but anyway guys we're gonna tear this open if I can freaking find the edges I did a good job wrapping this though I'm not gonna lie I can't even find the edges myself holy shit see this is why i hate saran wrap but it is very good stuff because like where the hell is it guys what the fuck is going on right now okay i th i think nope i still don't have it are you kidding me is this the video saran wrap challenge trying to freaking open something i d i don't understand what is going on like literally what is happening right now 
This doesn't make, okay, I'm gonna have to just do it the good old fashioned way with my Nashers. Here we go. Oh, I got a piece open. Never mind. I was gonna like rip it open with my teeth. Oh, ah, it's so sticky. Get out of here. No, there it is. I thought I lost the, the end piece again. Like when you're unraveling tape and then the tape like snaps off and then gets stuck to it again and you're like, get off of me. Seriously, what the fuck is this shit? Get out of here. Okay, I finally see actual cardboard. So we are almost there, guys. I, I could have cut this out, but like, why would I want to do that? You guys are going to miss all the fun, right? So, okay, here we go. All right. Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. Now, this one is beautiful and shiny. So, as you can see, not a freaking scratch on it, guys. Literally not even a scratch. Wow. Okay, so I have opened this before. I'll open it and show you guys what this will look like inside. Come to Papa. Come on. Come on out, you. Come to Mommy. All right, so, ah, wow. Okay, hello there. Oh, it's very, like, tacky almost because it's so new. Um, I think when you buy them, you have to, like, go over it with, like, a, like a microfiber cloth or something like that or um, some kind of cloth that, like, is it microfiber? I think it is microfiber. Like you, that that stuff that feels fucking horrible and like statical. Um, you just wipe it down and it gets rid of the the sort of tackiness. It smells pretty new too. So this is what it looks like. Now there's a few differences that I want to point out to you. First of all, this one is extremely extremely light. It's literally made out of like a like a piece of cardboard, I think. It's, I don't, it's not even cardboard. It's like a paper, like a, a, some type of card, but a very thick card. Um, if I was to bend this, it would snap literally so easily. Um, this part is good though. It looks exactly the same. Now there's a couple of things I want to mention to you guys. Remember that this is dark, right? This is dark brown and the pointed edges right here. You can see that it's got really sharp pointed edges on this one. Um, so I want you to keep that in mind. Now, inside the, the box, that's where the planchette is. The planchette is pretty much identical to the original one. There's literally no difference at all. Um, so you got these three little holes to put the three uh, little feet for this thing in. Um, and it just sits right there, which that is a difference also. So I will show you that. Um, and the reason I'm showing you guys this is like the reason I wanted to do this is because the Ouija board that I had up here on there is the actual 1972 edition. Now, I don't want that one to be up here, um, you know, especially since all the other stuff that I'm getting on my shelf is going to be brand new and it's going to be like movie stuff. So I figured that I would get like the new one and because of the movie Ouija, which I'm pretty sure they use this exact same Ouija board in the movie. So I'm gonna do that. Now, here's the thing about this. This is the old one. As you can see, it's all crusty and got freaking boogers and like shit all over it. Um, broken edges, coffee stains. The whole thing is like, you can see it's like a yellowish. I'm not sure if you guys can even tell, but it's like, that one is like really white um, on these parts right here. But this one is yellow. So it's definitely age. Now, when you open this one, um, well, first of all, the thing you notice about this one is when you pick it up, this box is very slightly thicker in like depth like that uh, than that one. Very slightly, maybe a couple of, I don't know, millimeters, very slightly, but it's also a lot heavier. Um, and the reason this one is a lot heavier is because as you can see, this one is like a lighter color than the other one. The other one was like dark brown. This one is very light, but that's because this one is like genuine like wood and um, as you can see the edges are curved on this one whereas the other one you see right here the edges are like curved um, and it is like a very hard I don't think I could snap this one if I I might be able to if I really forced it but the other one would just literally bend like cardboard this one however is very strong um, and kind of heavy um, so yeah Parker Brothers 
uh, I didn't notice. I know some of them have, like it says right here, Parker Brothers on mine. Some of these have um, Parker Brothers, Salem, Massachusetts, like written along the bottom here. So it's like a lot longer. I think that one did have it. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look back. Um, but yeah, they have like an edition where it's got like a lot more writing on the bottom. But this one is like the good old fashioned one. And now here's another difference about this one is as you guys saw with the other one, there was just three holes or like three holes for the, the planchette's feet to stick in. This one actually has a hole in the box, like a square hole that you can put this in. This is pretty much exactly the same. There's not a lot of difference at all. So that one just fits right into this hole, which I think is a better idea because with the other one, you put the feet through and there's still like a good, uh, like half an inch sticking out above the red. So when you put the, the Ouija board in here, it's kind of a, it's like a bump in the middle, you know, like the Ouija board is not laying completely flat because there is a bump in the middle. However, this one goes in at least like, there's like half an inch away from like, this the box itself the red is actually a little bit taller than the height of the planchette so when you put the ouija board in it will lay completely flat um so obviously i think that's a that's a good thing which way round is it now did i have that the right way i think it goes that way i'm not sure um but yeah that's pretty much it guys i don't really know what else to say the reason i just decided to do this was because i am just changing them around um i'm putting the i brought the new one up here to put on the shelf and I'm taking the old one to uh, put it back where it belongs. I'm gonna have it literally <laughs> locked away with, um, I have a bottle of holy water, a crucifix with Jesus on it, uh, rosary beads, and a holy Bible, all on top of the Ouija board. Just to keep the demons away, you know? <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I do have, in fact, I'm gonna show you something. Check this out, guys. So the painting that I'm gonna show you guys tomorrow is this one right here it's here right here but you're not gonna get to see it until tomorrow because hopefully hopefully tomorrow i will be in a much better mood um if i don't show you tomorrow it's because i'm gonna show you something even better which i wanted to show you yesterday but then uh, i then i did the none instead i'm kind of saving the best for last but there there is no last in sight at the moment because i still have a bunch of other things coming Woo! Wow, I have talked a lot. I don't even think I'm going to be cutting any of this video because I've just like talk, 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 talk. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like on it, guys. Please hit the like button. It really helps me out. And uh, my question to all of you for question of the day, which one of these did you think looks, like, looks better? I know they look literally the same, but would you rather have the other one, which is like slightly bigger and lighter or would you rather have like the old-fashioned 1972 one where it's heavier and a little bit smaller let me know in the comment section and also let me know in the comment section would you be brave enough to play the ouija board if you haven't already let me know in the comment section but anyway guys thank you so much for watching i love you all and i will see you back here tomorrow for another video remember the most important thing chase your dreams keep on fighting don't let anybody bring you down and i will see you back here tomorrow peace out guys i love you Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoy my videos and you would like to support me and my channel more and also be featured in my videos, go check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. I would really appreciate any help you guys have to offer. As you can see, we have different tiers, different rewards. So go over there, check it out. And uh, I would really appreciate that. Every little helps. Thank you so much. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell on and also follow me on all my social media. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. So go follow Follow me on all of those and remember the most important thing, I love you guys and chase your dreams.